like that. And I'm pretty sure they're in that tree because it's filled with marulas. Sorry to disturb you, chaps. Really, we didn't mean any harm. You could have stayed in there and enjoyed your marula breakfast. They are quite nervous of us for some reason. I'm not sure why. This is not the same troop, I don't think, as the one that we have been seeing. Oh, that's so sweet. As the one that we've been seeing around the Juma Pan. I think this is the group that lurks around Torchwood Camp. I'm going to see if we can get just a little bit closer with those little ones playing up top there. That is hilarious. Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, I tell you, baboons, they are the best fun to watch. They are just far too human. <laughs> I mean, that's quite a drop there from the top of that bush there. I don't, I can't believe there are any fruits in that fallen over tree. Wonderful stuff. So the Torchwood Troop, we'll call this one. The other one we've christened the Juma Troop. It could be the same troop, but I don't think it is. And I mean, if kids had the muscles that baboons have, they too would be hanging in trees like this. There's a bigger one now at the base of that stump. Just keeping an eye out, female, Ah, right. Um, a little bit of a Mrs. Robinson situation going on there. Older female, young male trying to figure his way out in the world. Um, uh, now beating someone else up, throwing them off the tree. That is an astounding... <laughs> That's an astounding thing to have seen. Now, I love this following discussion. It's the fact that human beings are one of the very few mammal species that have what is known as a hidden estrus. What I mean is, of course, baboons, and of, I, I mean they're a nice example to use because, of course, they are relatively closely related to us. Ah, here we go again. Round two. With sound effects this time. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> whew. Yeah, well, steamy in here. I told you the day was close and steamy. Um, human beings, uh, baboons, don't have a hidden estrus, of course. You can see there that she is demonstrating. So she gets those swollen sort of, uh, what don't even know what you'd call them, parts of her backside, and that tells the males that she's ready to mate. Now, for human beings, of course, that doesn't occur. Chimpanzees, it doesn't occur either. Which means that as humans and as chimpanzees, uh, mating occurs at any time of the month, at any time of the year. 